Hi, good morning, welcome to Motoring Department. My name is Chris Blackwell. I fired the original cameraman because we actually went through and did the video and only got halfway through when he managed to switch it off and it was a brilliant video. Try doing this without auto cue. Anyway, we have today this Swift 694 Distinction. It's a very, very nice motorhome. It's a full berth motorhome. Uh, you can see it's 2017. It's got uh, a little over 12,600 uh, miles on the clock. Uh, it's on a 2.3 Fiat Ducato engine, so uh, plenty to get up and go. Good tyres, as you can see there, Michelin tyres on there with uh, alloy wheels. And on this side, you can see we've got the hookup point, uh, the water uh, take-in point there, and, and you can see a fresh and a waste water drain. Also around on this side, you can see the toilet cassette. Uh, outside shower point, that's uh, for the chauffeur, because he's not allowed to use the bathroom, so it's, that's the... Uh, that's the ladies' bathroom, that is. The man's got to use the outside. <laughs> got to do these things. On the rear, you can see you've got uh, reversing camera, uh, bike rack sensors, tow bar and electric. So uh, that's pretty damn useful as well, especially if you're towing uh, a car or, or a little trailer. And then here we've got a little bit of storage. Not too much, but it's enough. You've got in here, presently, they've got the carpets that are rolled up uh, and obviously the awning handle. Why they call it an awning is beyond me because it's actually a canopy, but there you go. Um, and then we've got the 230 outside socket, um, not, not the inlet socket, the outlet socket, so it's 231 there, and a barbecue gas point, or as I call it, a flame throwing part. <laughs> so off we go, we're going to go on the inside. Oh, by the way, you'll notice there's a, a, a canopy up there. I'm going to let the cameraman go in first. I, I nearly went in before. How rude. So, so we'll show you the front in a short while but right now oops shut that door uh, i'm going to show you the kitchen we've got an extension piece here uh to make the kitchen a little bit bigger to work in obviously a full size oven grill microwave obviously you can only use that on hookup and then you've got to sink a couple of power points up there you'll also notice up on the above the habitation door there you've got your main habitation panel obviously power on uh, and the way it goes and you do things like your lights etc um, and whatever else right next to it you've got the truma inet system which obviously you can operate from your um, app on your phone as well so that com comes in rather handy for when you want to warm up your motorhome before you get into it so you can just go on your app and do your thing there coming into the rear what we've got here is an island bed which does actually extend out. Um, you can see there's mood lighting above there as well. Isn't her wardrobe on either side? Well, it's actually more her wardrobe than his. Um, and talking about looking after her, there's also a vanity mirror here, power socket and uh, a light switch as well. Sounds rather nice, isn't it? Looking, looking after the lady somewhat. A divider, cantilever curtain that comes across, obviously, for the lady to have her own privacy and space. Also part of the kitchen is not quite in view, but it happens to be here. You can sort of see it here. Large uh, fridge freezer as well. So coming forward, right, we're going to move forward. Oh, by the way, there's stacks of space underneath that uh, um, bed as well. It can lift up. Um, so there's more storage there. Coming forward, there's the bathroom. And we're going to let the cameraman just have a look on his own in there because it's a bit cramped. Uh, but as you can see down there, you've got your sink and toilet and then your shower as well. So a uh, bit small, but then the whole idea is to try and get yourself more space into here, this part of the motorhome, which we're just going around into now, which is the social space. I'm just going to take a seat because I'm tired. <laughs> no, it is actually quite relaxing. This social area, obviously you can have the dinette uh, a leg, which is placed there to make up the dinette table, or just leave the, the table away. There is an L-shaped lounge area here and a single bench opposite. This actually makes into another double bed. But you can actually take that part away then to have two forward-facing seats as well. So you've got two seat belts there, two seat belts in the front as well. So obviously four seating comfortably. In the front, you've got uh, the usual refinements, which is a spec out of Fiat Ducato, uh, six-speed gearbox, cruise control, cab, aircon system with a, a multimedia player there as well reversing camera just to help you uh, go backwards you've got uh, uh, remus blinds to go across the front and there's actually silver screens pop-on screens for the side doors for the evening it's actually a 
very nice motor. I like the design of it. It's a Swift 6794 distinction. Distinctive it is. Come and have a look at it. 